Hey Pisces, welcome on my channel. I'm going to do your bonus October 2021 general love reading. What and who is coming towards you? What's happening in your life? What's coming? Who is coming? What's popping? What is next? And love, Pisces. So keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. So roles can be reversed, energy can be flipped. Just take what resonates. Pisces, sun, moon, arising. Let's see what's happening, Pisces. What's happening? Two of swords. We have the judgment. We have the ace of wands. And we have the ten of swords. Ooh. Heavy shit is here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the King of Cup. Here you go. And we have the Magician. I love this deck, by the way. We have the Page of Swords energy here. Nine of Swords. Queen of Wands. The Death. The Lovers. I love it. Okay, so you could be dealing with Virgo. Are these signs may be coming towards you? We have the Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, any water sign. Um, you could be dealing with Gemini, Virgo, very popping up, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio is here. Sagittarius is here, very prominent. Aries is here, could be Leo. We also have a Libra, that indecisive energy here, okay? Okay, I'm strongly feeling you are manifesting new person. Yeah, Pisces, if this is not your energy, don't watch it. Maybe this is not going to resonate with you. This is a new energy. With this Ace of Wands and Magician, you are manifesting a new person. You may be already attracted to this new person or maybe attracting this new person, okay? This person is already in your energy field, okay? Like you, you may be falling in love with this person, not in a love, but you're attracted to this person. It's like a crush. It's like attraction. It's like... There's a physical attraction here. You maybe like someone, okay? And you're trying to manifest that person. And in the meantime, when you're doing this, there's someone coming from the past here. But with this Ten of Swords energy, this is that person that you had a very poor communication with. This person left you out in the cold. Uh, this person all, all, always, you know, left you on read. They're very indecisive. They, they still maybe come to you. But they're indecisive, like they don't know what to do. For some of you, I feel like you have an option, like someone coming from the past. Maybe they're not coming, but you have a choice to wait for that person or move on. This is a very clear message here, Pisces. Maybe you have a choice between two people, like you want to stay there or you want to choose this person. I feel this King of Cups is a new person with a judgment and King of Cups. Or this could be a someone coming from the past here. Like they maybe want to, you know, like your choice is yours. If you really want to wait for this person to bring you, to bring, you know, like to come into union with this person. If this is someone from the past with a judgment, but the judgment day has come finally with the king of cups. Like you need to make a decision here, Pisces. Maybe this is your energy because you're a water sign, obviously. So you have a decision to make here. Like what do you want to do? What you want to do? Because we have the will of fortune. It's like opportunity is coming. Opportunity is in front of you to be with someone new with this Ace of Wands here and Magician. And finally, because you are manifesting this new beginning here. So universe is saying the new energy or new person or something new and fresh in front of you. So, so they want to tell you that it's like a do or die situation. Do it or not. Because you have to drop someone, obviously. Because we have the Two of Swords energy here. So maybe this is your energy, like you're, you're, you're not sure, Pisces. What do you want? It is two of swords energy, indecisive, like sometimes you want to think that this person is right and the other person, if you have, if you're dealing with two people, so maybe you have a choice. So you maybe think these two people are good for you, but obviously you can't live with two people with a wheel of fortune. You have to make a decision here and you can't delay it. Or maybe this is that person, like they need to make a choice here. If they're not going to make a choice, they're going to drop you or they, they need to drop something. 
It's like this person is indecisive either about you or them or anyone else. There's a third party here. Or this is like their decision. They need to make a fair like decision if they want to be with you or not. Like answer is yes or no. If this is no, like it's over, it's finished. There's no time to wait. There's no there, there's no delay here. Like you just stop waiting, right? So this person really need they know that. It's it's like a pressure is definitely on them. Like they need to make a decision here. Or this pressure may be on you. Like you need to make a choice here. You need to make a decision here. Like you really want to be with this person. You want to wait. Or you want to waste your time. Because universe is giving you the new opportunity with this Wheel of Fortune, Magician and Ace of Wands. Like there is a new person, a new opportunity in front of you. And you can't waste your time to wait for someone. Like how long you're going to wait. I know it's a Nine of Swords energy here. So if this is someone that will give you this um, this anxiety, there's an overthinking going on. This is someone who definitely put you in a third party. This could be someone that you had a babies with, children with, family with. There's also a lost hair. This could be someone that, yeah, you see the very bad time with this person. Or maybe they, they definitely put you in this energy. Like you've gone through a depression, anxiety because of this person. This person never speak up their truth with the page of swords. And there's also gossip here. Like this relationship is always a gossip. It's, it's like you're always searching for the truth from this person and they never speak up their truth. Okay. Now we have the death card. So maybe with the death and nine of swords, it's like you're dead. You're like, no, this relationship is dead. Or maybe the old me is dead. I don't want to be there anymore. So queen of wands, it's like you are definitely carrying this queen of cups to queen of wands energy like you're changing your lifestyle you you're totally changed and different person now you don't want to be this energy anymore you want to be confident you want to be strong you want to you want to attract new things new blessings in your life maybe you're focused on yourself if you're a single mother you're just focused on your own energy you really want to change you may be moving into different place like totally a different place we also have the lovers so you can see that it's like a beauty and beast type of energy here so Either you have a choice between two lovers or this is that your lover is coming back to you with this death card. It's like someone coming from the past. But again, you have a choice. Either you want to let them in or you want to move on. Because I'm seeing Page of Swords, there's a gossip here. There was a lot of gossip here. Or maybe this person listened to their friends or people about you. They never listened to their own intuition about you. Okay, so this person could be spying on you. If, if you are moving on and if you're trying to be a change, you're totally in a different place. You maybe uh, block this person. You may be totally in a different place. Like this person does not know where are you. Uh, you may be changing your lifestyle. You're changing your diet. I'm here in this routine. You may be meeting new people. You may be in a different place. Maybe going into a different country. There's something that you're doing something even fresh and this person really spying on you. Like they want to know that what's going on. Okay, there's a gossip here on you, Pisces. People are talking about you or people will talk about you. I don't know, like if you're choosing this person, this new person, people will talk and gossip or if you're choosing the past person, the, there's still gossip here. There's a lot of drama here. There's an involvement of other people here. So you know better, Pisces. But I'm strongly feeling there is someone coming. You have to make a choice here. You can't delay it. Or this person need to make a decision here. They can't delay it. Because you're not going to wait for this person. You're not. They know that. If they're going to lose you, it's it's forever. Death card is like permanent. It's over. It's finished. You're not going to wait for this person. Or this person... Or maybe you're cutting this person and you're choosing new person. Because it's over. It's finished for you. Let's see. We have... One way love. So a lot of you, yeah, this was one sided love and you are done with it. You're walking away from this. This is unrequited love. Yeah, you may be getting out of this rela relationship and you're choosing new person because it was unrequited. We also have healing love and you may be now choosing healing love or maybe you are in this self love energy right now, Pisces. That's why you're attracting a lot of people. But again, you also need to understand if this is someone coming from the past because we are going through a murky retrograde, so maybe they're coming back. It's not just like, they want to be with you because they, they are going to put you in another cycle. So choose wisely. They, maybe they're coming back because it's a mercury retrograde. Or maybe there's a still closure issues here between you and this person. 
So choose healing love, Pisces. We also have a sexual chemistry. This could be someone that you have a sexual connection with or friends or benefits type of a connection with. Yeah, this is on the rebound. Yeah, this is someone who want to make... Oh, shit. They really want... They're coming because they... They want to mend things with you. It's like a patch up. They want to be on rebound. This could be a confusing round um, situation for you because you, you are not going to understand if they're changed or they just want to be with you or they just want your body or they just want. It's like you're not going to understand this person's intentions. So you have to make a choice here. So take things slow with this person. If this is someone coming from the past, we also have emotional affair. Yeah. There's definitely, um, it will be hard to resist an emotional connection with someone who is already involved. Yeah, this could be someone that you had an emotional connection with, but it is also sexual, mental. Yeah, this could be someone that, yeah, you're coming into union with. But it was unrequited love with this person. But you have a definitely emotional thing with this person. And this is going to make you maybe emotional, okay? Yeah, this is someone from the past. This could be your marriage partner, ex-husband or wife or someone that you are separated with. This is definitely someone from the past here or maybe past life. But it's complicated, Pisces. It's very complicated. This is very complicated because this person is indecisive about you or you are indecisive about this person. Because there is a self-love missing here because it's karmic love between you and this person. It's very karmic. Not allow. Let's see. The person coming your way, what do they want to say? Or what are, what's on their mind? You are the most beautiful thing I keep in my heart. Can you feel me? Can you feel me when I think about you? This person definitely thinking about you. When I look in your eyes, I see my whole future. This is someone who's crazy about you. But it's very complicated. Either they don't want to settle down or either they, they could have some sexual thing going on with someone else. You, I, and I will always be unfinished business. Yeah, this is unfinished business, guys. This is someone who's a karmic, okay? This is a karmic partner. It's like no matter what, you always come together. And it's, it's, it's very complicated. It's a cycle. It's a never-ending story, I'm hearing. Oh, God. You make my heart happy. This is a very emotional and complicated love. You have my whole heart. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, crazy love. Complicated. You are worthy of this love. And the next last one is I'm unhappy with the way things are right now. This person is not happy. Yeah, obviously, because they want you. Yeah, please be patient with me. I need more time. So this, this person is definitely not going to settle down. They definitely will take some time. And if you're okay with it, then it's up to you. But this person feel like you are the, you are the one. Like they love you and they want to be with you because it's, it's because it's coming. It's not going anywhere. No matter what, you will always come together. You will always find a way to come together. This is that type of love. But you also need to, it's like a self-love needed here between you and this person. Don't be codependent. And also there's a love triangle here. Maybe there's this person is involved with someone else or you are with someone else. So there's definitely a love triangle here. But this is karmic love. Maybe they're with someone, they're their karmic or you are their karmic partner. Like they can't leave you. They can't leave you. There's a soul tie. This is a karmic, never ending story. But they are maybe with someone else. Okay, so that's your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. See you later.